So configuring interactive chat is rather easy, um, but it requires some attention. So this is the configuration file uh, you default get. Um, first thing is the config version, do not edit this. Um, the second line is uh, the language file. So as you can see, there's a folder lang. Uh, and yeah, if you edit it, you can see it contains like the default prefix for the default commands, such as the uh, about box or the reload command. Um, some help text. Uh, you can customize this if you want to give some information how they have to use the uh, message commands or broadcast commands. You can put that here. Uh, but most formatting is done in the configuration file itself. So uh, debug mode is if you want to report an error, it's better to turn this to true, then lock whatever you are doing to cause the error and then send to log file. Uh, log the file will automatically be done for a restart uh, just because most people forget to turn this on and they can't reproduce it again uh, but it won't get really big. For example, I was using this file for quite some time, it's just 87 kilobytes. How to update? Um, it's very important. Uh, so as I, I will say later um, there's a license file. Uh, you have to put your license in there uh, of your that you get when you purchase the plugin. Um, and if you do that, you can auto update the plugin. So it will automatically download uh, new updates and install them on the first restart. Um, and this allows you to enjoy the latest features of the plugin. Um, I suggest reading the change log uh, before installing the plugin because some versions might reset the configuration file. There will always be a backup, uh, don't worry, but you might lose your current settings for that restart. Next, uh, you have the chat format groups. So these are the groups uh, you have in your permissions. For example, this can be a diamond rank or a gold rank, uh, but currently I have guest, member, VIP, moderator, and administrator. Keep Make sure that these groups match your permission groups. Um, if you come and look at my B permissions, uh, if I check this world, world, okay. Those groups like member and guest match these groups. So, uh, so yeah, they match. Make sure uh, these groups are correctly entered. Uh, it's currently, it supports all Vault uh, plugins, uh, so B permissions, uh, BEX, permissions X, uh, Group Manager, and a lot more. Uh, I will put them in the description. Then, this is the important part. This is actually the chat format thing. Uh, there are a lot more variables, uh, but just, these are just some basic ones. Uh, for full, I think there are like more than 40 available variables you can use. Uh, but yeah, this is just an example. So, this is actually a message divided in parts. So you have a part for the prefix, a part for the player name, a part for the spacer, which is like the uh, between the name and the message, and then the message message itself. Um, and each part has uh, the message, uh, and then you can apply a hover tooltip for each group. So you can have uh, a specific group uh, that says hello when you hover on the prefix, and another group that says uh, by when you hover over prefix, um, for example. But in this case, um, I have a prefix, and when guests hover it, uh, it will give information what the prefix, prefix exactly is. And um, I just made a command um, that will give some rank information about that prefix. Uh, you also have groups, so I can add, for example, rank information, rank info group. And then suggest, I will come to that later. Then message uh, for the player this is just the player name. You can also have the nickname if you want to uh, use essential nicknames. And then again the hover 
um, they are all the same so I have like prefix player name uh, held bar and it looks like the MCM, MCMMO a held bar then the world player is in so I don't have to put that in front of the name uh, times played so this is like a counter that says how much times he joined the game and that's for every group um, but if you want for example moderators to see do not see the hell bar then it will be removed so this is not for a specific group but this is like the what the group sees so a guest will see this a member will see this but it's not like a guest will see uh, the formatting of a member it's just a member sees that a VIP sees that a moderator sees that then uh, for the commands a VIP can click the player name to TPA and moderator and administrator can just click to TP uh, and suggest is a command that fills in it doesn't execute but it just fills in in the uh, chat box so if you click if a member clicks a name a message that name gets filled in into their chat and they can it's easier for them to complete it and the spacer I don't have any hover command or suggest uh, there and the same for message you can't in a message in a message you can't add you can't add, add hover or command or suggestions this is because the message is actually divided in separate parts uh, to add support for colors and uh, URLs so it was impossible to implement hover or command or suggestions then this is the link formatting uh, this is the color the link will be in so if you have a link it will be white and then the styles um, so now I will have an italic style for a link you can add a hover uh, but currently defaultly uh, this won't be dynamic so you can add like the time the link was sent or something like that but you can't add like the title but that's implementable it's uh, there's an API available and I will create some extra modules in the future like for example you can add the placeholder for the title of the web page so it loads the title and then shows it when you hover it then the message uh, you can leave this empty and it will just show the URL but if you want to have a click here box in italic it you can fill something in here or like click or link or something like that then the plugin comes with uh, two basic modules installed because uh, I noticed a lot of basic chat formatting plugins uh, have messaging and broadcast and yeah they don't it, it, it seems a bit silly to install another plugin just for those two modules so I've add them and I've had uh, support for tooltips so again same with the chat formatting you have like a prefix and the message uh, and yeah for example for the hover I've added the time uh, the message was sent so it will show like uh, 10 o'clock or something like that so the players know when that broadcast was sent if they were AFK and they come online and they see a broadcast that says restart in five minutes they can hover it and see oh it was sent one minute ago it will be in four minutes same with commands or suggestions then the message target and message source format so target is when you receive something source is when you send something so this will to player name and from player name uh, when you have a message that comes from someone it will suggest the reply command which is built in um, and when you hover uh, oh sorry and when you uh, send something you can click on that to player name again to send another message with message player name then last but not least these are some basic variable configuration so you can change it's mostly uh, date formatting because if 
to live somewhere where the date is different or things like that or you want uh, to separate it by slashes like this you can change that same for the time formatting you can add the date to it but I don't see much using that uh, unless you stay online for online for a few days so yeah that's the basic formatting actually so I will show you the plugin. So now. I'm back and I will show you the uh, functionalities in game. So I have two test accounts here. Uh, they're both guests, as you can see. Um, and as I showed you earlier, uh, a guest can view the prefix information. So if he hovers the prefix, you will see players have prefix in front of their name to indicate a rank. Same for the name it shows the hit points if I for example jump off okay and I type something it will show my current hit points please note that once a chat is sent as chat, mes chat message is sent it won't change so if you go back it will say I had full health when I send that so it's the situation when you send the message it won't change whether you uh, do something so it's one cent it remains like that same for the world if I was in another world when I typed that it would be different so uh, so that was the first thing uh, the message command is rather simple I hope I have the permission set up correctly oh I'm sending a message to myself oh no, oh, no. Uh, okay, don't have permissions, so I'm going to up myself. Okay, now I can send message. As you can see, he says from Harry, and this says to James uh, because I'm Harry. Um, if you click it, it will fill in message James again. Same for here, for this one. If you type this, it will type the reply, and you can reply. So that's rather cool. Uh, don't mind the formatting here. Um, I just changed that uh, a few seconds ago in the configuration. Well, I, I'm going to change it lively. So uh, interactive configuration. That way you can see how easy it is to change and what the exact problem is. So what, which one was white from? From was white. So as you can see, this is empty. And this is like. So if I do this, it would change. Okay. So if I reload the chat and message again, test and yes, now it's now it's gray. That's good. Um, so yeah, this it shows the time when the message was sent. Um, for the because. I configured it to be same for broadcast. Um, it, was, it shows the time. So yeah, that's actually the plugin. Uh, it seems simple, uh, but you can add a lot of functionalities to it. Uh, I will show you a few other prefixes I have set up. So if I change, for example, uh, to to do, 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 do moderator okay so now uh, the prefix won't show uh, as it did with guests again here because I was a guest when uh, the early message were typed uh, they were still you can still see the prefix over there uh, but for the new message it can't um, show some basic information you can if I click a name now it should teleport me now okay so that's that works uh, but you can change commands if you have for example like a GUI like a chest GUI that does some player actions you can use a command to open that GUI once you click a player name and you can add really cool things to it um, there will be more modules available uh, like uh, personally I love to see the town name uh, because I use townie to of a player 
you can add it to the uh, to the message over here so you can add a lot of functionalities to it uh, and a lot it's, it's really cool um, that's the plugin um, I hope you liked it and uh, see you soon at Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah, damn, I configured it to be italic text. Well, never mind. Uh, see you later.